Well, guys, uh, we had some breaking news happen, you know, tonight, uh, early morning. I don't know. Whenever you're watching this video, I usually don't release uh, late night videos, but every now and then something happens and we're trying to be on top of it. And this actually happened during our live stream. Uh, Jeff Grubb opened his damn mouth. You guys remember Jeff Grubb, uh, famous for talking about Metro Prime Remaster, having to shave his head because it didn't come out in 2022, although Nintendo released it two months, less than two months into 2023. So he clearly knew what he was talking about with Metro Prime Remaster. He just didn't have an exact release date, but he was very confident it was coming out in 2022. Obviously, plans changed. They dropped it as a shadow drop uh, this year back in February. But here's the... Here's the crazy thing. He also is somewhat disliked by Nintendo fans because of the Wind Waker, Twilight Princess HD. He's been really singing its praises for like a year and a half. Well, here's the thing. He's at it again. And he hasn't been at it again with Nintendo rumors in a bit. Uh, he talks about a lot of other rumors and other things that he's actually been right. He's been correct on a bunch of rumors uh, surrounding PlayStation and Xbox over the last year. But now he's back at it again with Nintendo. He, he had a show... And look, I'm just going to straight up tell you guys right now, the man is telling us that we are about to get Metroid Prime 2 remaster soon, probably September, and something Zelda related. But you don't have to believe me. No, no, no. We can just hear it from the man himself. Let's see what he had to say on Last of the Nintendo Dogs, his Nintendo podcast. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's fine. I, there's been some other stuff like Microsoft is also expecting a, a new Switch next year. It doesn't seem like that's really informed on much nah, except for the they're very just guessing, strong. They're just, they're just listening to uh, Last of the Nintendo Dogs like yeah. everyone else. Do you think that all this quietness, do you think that is like the, the calm before the storm? Do you think uh, uh, some kind of announcement uh, or stuff is imminent or do you think that's coming later in the year? Do you want me to like fuck up? Do you want me to like make? Do you want me to step in the shit a little bit? Oh, uh, Jeff, we can make I'll some news. Oh, okay. yeah, let's do that. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, God, Christian, I want to go. <laughs> I'm scared. Even, you know, don't be too scared. You're not supposed. To, you're not. You're not technically here, Christian. Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> uh, Metroid Prime Two Remaster probably is coming out relatively soonish. Like that. that, oh, that, no. that is, oh, no. is happening. Let me just like, let me check and see if any hairs falling out. All right, no, we're good. Uh, that probably is happening relatively soonish. Uh, this next phrase, I'm afraid to say, so I might not actually say. <laughs> um, th uh, listen, I don't know what it means. I, like this is, the, I'm gonna tell you what I, what they told me, and then if you take this yeah. and you spin it into something else, everybody, it's on you. Okay, good. it's on you. Something not related to Tears of the Kingdom is happening with Zelda later this year. That's what oh. I was told. No. Okay. What? What, what, do we, what do we do with that information? What? I don't know. I'm sure. Like we make a little bit of news. Let's do it. Why not? I mean, uh, okay. I, I, what can we can do I with ask, that? Can I ask a question? You can ask a question. I might. I probably don't have answers. I have lots of questions. Do you mean like? Do you mean Wind Waker and Twilight Princess? I don't Princess? mean shit, Mike. I don't know what it means. <laughs> okay. I don't. Every, I don't want to fucking look at Wind Waker again. Piece of shit game. <laughs> I, I like Fuck. that game. Yeah, a lot. No, that's that a good game. game. Rules. Good game. Uh, uh, okay. and, then, and then just like last thing, uh, um, you know, this one's not news because of course, but Nintendo normally does directs in September. We'll probably get a direct in September right around the time of that um, uh, of that Nintendo uh, event that's happening in Seattle. Around so, PAX. Yeah. Nintendo around Live 2023. So, yes. But that's like, of course, of course we get that. Yes. So yeah, there you go. I mean, it makes sense. You can. All right. So there you have it. <laughs> I don't. What do we do with that sort of information? Right. Jeff Grubb. He hasn't, like, stepped in it in a long time when it comes to Nintendo because, look, he likes things being double, you know, triple sourced. At this point, I think he's just having some fun, but he's being honest. He heard Metroid Prime 2 Remaster dropping soon, probably September Direct, as another shadow drop. Is it possible to get two Metroid Prime Remasters in the same year? Sure, but of course, what a lot of you are probably wondering is Zelda... What the hell are they doing with Zelda? If it's not Tears of the Kingdom DLC, then what the hell are they doing with Zelda? Is it the Wind Waker or Twilight? He doesn't want to touch that with a 10-foot pole. Again, Jeff Grubb doesn't seem to know what it is. Just something Zelda is happening later this year. And he does go on to note a little bit later that from his own speculation, it could just be something announced this year to release early next year. Again, 
It's it, when he meant something Zelda, just something Zelda is going to be announced. He doesn't necessarily mean something Zelda is going to be released, although something Zelda could be released. The Wind Waker Twilight Princess is obviously something that jumps to a, the top of a lot of hard charts, uh, maybe helping some holiday sales. I don't know, but. Uh, you know, I, I originally, you know, when I was first saw this, I was thinking, oh, maybe the Zelda Lego set. But then that Zelda Lego set that leaked had a Deku tree from Breath of the Wild. It's the same Deku tree in Tears of the Kingdom. So you could argue that's Tears of the Kingdom related. So then it probably wouldn't be the Zelda Lego set. So what 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 is it? Uh, they, they were seemingly to heavily towards it being something game related. Although, again, Jeff Grubb just he said what he heard. Something Zelda that isn't Tears of the Kingdom is happening later this year. What is it? Are we getting more rematch? Like, Grezzo. Grezzo did Link's Awakening. Are we about to get, like, a Link Between Worlds? Are we going to get Oracle of Ages? Oracle of... Is it even going to be a remaster? What if there's a brand new top-down Zelda game? What if it's a spinoff? What if we get another Hyrule Warriors game? You know, like, hey, an actual sequel to the original one where Sia was the bad person, right? Like, maybe we're going to get a sequel to that. Maybe there's a, is there going to be an Age of Calamity sequel? I don't know. Is it another Cadence of Hyrule? Are we getting a Cadence of Hyrule 2? I don't, like, there's so many avenues this could be. Because when you say something Zelda, that is, it's unlimited possibilities. So, here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to go down into the comments below and just make your blind guesses at whatever supposed Zelda thing is going to at least be announced, if not released, later this year. Highly likely to be announced in that September Direct, especially if it's coming this year. What I will note is Nintendo, at least during this whole COVID period from 2020 on, has had this sort of tendency to announce things in September that still come out this year. Things like Age of Calamity and Super Mario 3D All-Star. So, like, there still could be that September announcement of something coming this year. <sighs> Man, I don't even I don't even want to give a guess because I'm going to be like, give me Wind Waker, baby. That's what I want. I want it to be Wind Waker HD, but I have no idea what this is going to be. And then we can't forget about the Metroid Prime 2 stuff. Look, the Metro Prime 1 remake is the second highest reviewed game of the year behind Tears of the Kingdom. If they got Metroid Prime 2 remake, remaster, HD, whatever they're calling it, ready to go, and they're dropping that this year, well, here's what I think is going to happen. You know that February Direct next year, Metroid Prime 3 remaster will drop then because we'll get Metroid Prime 4 next holiday season or next October, right? Like, that's... If, the, if this happens, I'm just going to feel like they're just going to shadow drop it at the ends of the years, and then give us Metro Prime. I, look, I don't know. My mind is racing. This is breaking news. We haven't had breaking news like this in a while. Again, this is a rumor, though. So take this with the appropriate levels of salt. They always say take it with a pinch of salt, whatever. Sometimes I say truckloads. Do with this what you will. Jeff Grubb is extremely reliable. For those who are unaware, he is an actual video game journalist with connections. Gotten some stuff wrong. Plans change. He's gotten a lot right as well. You guys do with this what you will. For right now, I got to let my hype die down, and I'm going to catch you guys in our next video.